Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we're gonna start uh, doing some wiring for the, uh, the battery modules in the front and we'll see how far we get. There's gonna be a lot of wiring going on. All right, uh, an update here. So I've got uh, kind of four of the wire packs done. I've got four more to go. Um, the thought is I'm gonna be measuring each uh, individual cell as well as uh, there's, I think, four thermistors in each battery module. Um, and I don't know, the the BMS that I have, it allows for, I believe, 10, what is that, 40? 40, so I can get 40 uh, temperature readings, but I'll have four, anyway. So I, I think I've got enough, anyway. so. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other four. I just wanted to kind of show it's just a mess getting all these wires put together and just a lot of soldering. And um, I'll go ahead and do a time lapse just so you can see some of it. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're to. There is my mountain of wires. So um, I got eight bundles there. I believe I've got all the connections I've, I need. So um, I will now go, I'll put the battery modules into the battery, front battery pack here. Um, I'm gonna hook up uh, probably, so I probably have this one backwards from how I want. Um, I'll have the main terminals and one of the plugs coming out to the front and then just one to the back. So I'll put all the back ones on, get everything in place, and then, uh, then I can have access to the front. So I'll, I will then start making up some cables. So I kind of made a uh, first one here, and I've got these uh, little kind of rubber boots I can put over, and hopefully you can get, get it all buttoned up. I have been in fabrication mode. I've been, just used some scrap pieces here. This will be the uh, spacers I need for the front of the battery box. And I also made this guy. This will be a pedal spacer. Um, if you recall from the accelerator pedal, it was a little far back. So we'll go ahead and bolt this one in and see how it feels. All right, I'm measuring kind of in a standard car. Gas pedal is, or sorry, the accelerator is usually a couple inches back from the brake. So. All right, I don't know how well you can see through that mess, but um, this is with the new spacer on. There we are. I have had some questions asked about uh, battery cooling. So the voices have spoken and I am gonna go add some cooling to the front battery pack. So these on this side right here, essentially this is kind of the cooling plate. So this ties into all the batteries and this is how it gets cooled. I'm gonna go ahead and tie in um, some aluminum plates. So I'm gonna put aluminum plate here, uh, essentially, and then water, a water circuit or a cooling circuit. So essentially in and outlets. Um, and I'll do that for each of the, uh, 
batteries up front, the battery modules up front. For the back, I'm gonna have all these, essentially all these cooling plates um, be, they're all gonna kind of essentially stack up so they're all facing the same side. And then on the other side, I'm gonna have them all facing the same side. So I'm just gonna have one cooling plate in between all of those for the back. All right, uh, I've got all the different wire bundles uh, with their wires labeled. So that was quite the ordeal. Got made sure to uh, check each wire, um, both the plug as well as the end, make sure we had continuity and then labeled each wire. So now it is time to connect them. All right, I had to take some things back off. Um, these uh, it's kind of spacers back here, I needed to put uh, holes through them or channels so I could fish the wires back through. So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, so anyway, it's got that one going through there, through and through there. Um, this one, well, we'll get to that point, I'll show you, but that's kind of what it looks like. I'm gonna push this back in place, put the sides back on. Alright, so this is the uh, top battery module, and this is just showing you how the cables come up from the bottom three. So that's kind of all situated. Adding a few uh, modifications to the battery box, so just going to have the essentially cables, power cables in, and drill another hole for out, and then one more for all these cables to come out. So. And on this side, I'll do holes for coolant in and out. And then I've got a address up here, holes in and out for power, as well as coolant, as well as these wires. So I'll get to drilling. All right, this is just kind of an example here of the uh, holes I cut through. So again, one will be for the power. The other one will be for these cables to monitor the voltage. I need a couple more for just the coolant lines to pass through, but that, that kind of gives you the, the gist of it. Alright, so I've got uh, most of these cables tied out of the way going through the Edge here of the battery box. Um, these ones, they'll go here, and again, this kind of stops the batteries from moving forward and back. I just need a couple more holes for the uh, coolant coolant lines, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this bundle up to that top one and join bundles, and then try and run them all the way to the back.
All right, here's how far we were able to get this week. Um, got the battery box in, uh, got the batteries in, got all the wires connected, both front and back. Um, starting to make the larger uh, orange cables and I got to get a bigger uh, split loom to combine all those and run them all the way to the back. That's where I'm going to have uh, the battery management system and that's where the other battery packs will be. Um, and yeah, I'm still going to add some cooling here so I'm just going to add some thin aluminum plates uh, with water circulating or coolant circulating. Um, so I'll do one, two, three there, and then one under there. So four, uh, just little coolant circuits there. So when I get those in, I'll have to drill, figure out where I want the coolant lines to come and go. But uh, again, my goal is to try and get this front buttoned up so I can get uh, the radiator put in and all the wires in going back. And so I can put the, again, the hood on and and then the front will be kind of done, which will be great. Then we'll move on to the back and we'll start kind of welding. We need to weld the, the subframe from the Tesla motor, um, weld that to the frame here. And we'll also need to weld up uh, mounts for the battery box for the rear and start wiring everything back there. We are making progress. Um, sometimes it seems like we find more things we need to do than uh, than the progress we make, but that's where we're to. All right, that's all we had for this week. See you next week.